Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 28th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to a quick video update here for you. Space weather update as we have a very active sun. Looking at the last 48 hours, 304 angstroms. Still watching those active sunspot regions in the southern hemisphere blow off some pretty sizable solar flares. Luckily, nothing in an Earth-directed fashion, but we will get a glancing blow from the outgoing CME that was produced from the M-class solar flare. Pretty complex look at our sun right now, especially the southern hemisphere, as we have that huge gaping coronal hole with a huge sunspot in the center of it, which is something very rare to see here from Solar Dynamics Observatory. And this is all very important for us as our sun in our time conducts and cycles all of life on this planet. Having a look at Alaska 2, the last few days here, showing those large CME blasts taking off in an outgoing fashion but we will get a glancing blow from those sizable CMEs, as you will see shortly. Just another quick look here at those pretty sizable CMEs taking off from our sun in a very active cycle, solar cycle 25. Huge. We've only had about two or three in the last little while that were in an Earth-directed fashion, and we saw things dramatically increase here on our planet. Solar wind speeds, density, temperature, upper-level winds have increased, and now we've got at least two or three major hurricanes and typhoons in this long-range forecast coming up tonight. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide and give you a full world update tonight as there is quite a large Atlantic hurricane developing in the mid-Atlantic and will be heading for the Caribbean islands. Quick look here at the absorption map as we have been zapped pretty much for about two days straight with four pretty sizable M-class solar flares and about a dozen C-class solar flares. So very active sun, and it is evident here in the absorption map and as well in the Aurora forecast, giving you a quick forecast here for the next 24 to 36 hours. Minor geomagnetic storm tonight for Europe and as well parts of Northern Canada. But I'm pretty sure over the next couple days, we're going to see that even larger probability of forecast will be up into the 100%. Looking at NOAA Space Prediction Spiral, showing those large CME blasts taking off from the top-hand part of our sun, which is in the outgoing position. And in this diagram, we are the little green dot. That is Earth. So we are set to get a glancing blow August 30th, 29th into the 30th. I can't believe we're almost in September already. My oh my. ISPA Space Prediction Spiral showing the same thing. See me blast taking off from the sun. And 29th into the 30th will be the impact zone. So here we are. Four sizable M-class solar flares and about a dozen C-class flares, as I said. Mentioned solar X-ray flux and protein flux is right up there. Real-time solar wind was sitting at about 416 kilometers per second. As we were streamlined at about 350 for about a day. Watching things now increase. Coronal hole is here. Looking at multi-spectrum. We do have some cresting activity as well in the northwestern parts of our sun. Top left, 
And then, of course, observing all of those blasts taking off from the active sunspot regions in the southern hemisphere. 193 angstroms here, still showing a pretty sizable and deepened coronal hole with a huge sunspot in the center of it. As I said, I haven't seen anything like this before in my reporting history here with daily events worldwide. That is a very complex sun that we are looking at right now. I'm going to leave you here looking at imagery of our sun. I want to thank you all for joining daily events worldwide and tuning in every day, keeping aware and prepared. Much love. We are in solar cycle 25, which NASA predicts will be an accelerated sunspot number event. And we are already looking at some pretty sizable sunspot numbers for the season. Leave you here looking at our sun today, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. And as well, a quick look at those sunspot regions building quickly and very active. Quick graph here, solar cycle 25. Again, thanks everybody for watching today. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. We'll see you for tonight's update. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.